Imagine stepping off a ship onto an island only to find an entire settlement vanished. This is the mystery of the lost colony of Roanoke. In the late 16th century, the Englishman John White returned from a supply mission to discover the colony he had left behind on Roanoke Island, now present-day North Carolina, entirely deserted. His family, along with the other settlers, had inexplicably disappeared. What could have happened to them? Theories abound, from violent confrontations with Native American tribes to a peaceful assimilation into local communities. Some even suggest the colonists may have tried to sail back to England and were lost at sea. But none of these theories have been able to decisively solve the enigma that is the lost colony. The truth behind the lost colony has remained elusive for centuries. However, recent archaeological discoveries may finally provide some answers. In the quest to solve the Roanoke mystery, a team of archaeologists turned their attention to Cape Creek on Hatteras Island. The island, shrouded in the whispers of centuries past, bore the promise of new insights into the enigma of the lost colony. The team's diligent excavations unearthed a series of remarkable artifacts. Among the finds was a gold signet ring, its luster muted by years under the earth, but its significance undiminished. This ring, a relic from a bygone era, was a tangible link to the English settlers of Roanoke. Alongside the ring, the archaeologists discovered a trove of European metal objects. Their presence a testament to the settlers' efforts to bring a piece of their homeland to the new world. But what do these artifacts mean for our understanding of the lost colony? Well, these discoveries suggest a compelling narrative, that some of the Roanoke colonists may have survived not by retreating back across the Atlantic, but by integrating into the local communities. The presence of these English artifacts among Native American sites implies a blending of cultures, a convergence of worlds that was previously unimagined. In essence, these artefacts serve as silent witnesses to history, offering a glimpse into the lives of the Roanoke colonists post-disappearance. They speak of resilience and adaptation, of old world meeting new, and of survival against the odds. The artefacts discovered at Cape Creek point to a new direction in the search for the lost colony, away from Roanoke Island itself. While one team was making significant discoveries at Cape Creek, another group of archaeologists was unearthing clues at a site near Edenton, North Carolina, known as Site X. At this intriguing location, the team unearthed a collection of items that seemed out of place for the indigenous cultures of the time. Among these were fragments of pottery, not of Native American origin, but strikingly similar to the style used by the English settlers of the Roanoke colony. These unusual artifacts, buried deep beneath the surface, whispered tales of a time long past, a time when the settlers of the lost colony might have trodden on this very soil. But the pottery wasn't the only clue. The team also discovered other items, including tools and household objects that bore the unmistakable mark of European craftsmanship. Each artifact, each fragment, added a new piece to the puzzle, a new layer to the evolving narrative of the lost colony. These discoveries at Site X painted a compelling picture, one that diverged from the long-held belief of a colony vanished without a trace. Instead, they seemed to suggest that the settlers had survived, that they had abandoned Roanoke not in a desperate flight, but in a deliberate move to a new location. And so, the implication of these findings is profound. They hint at a story of survival and assimilation, of two cultures intermingling, of English settlers becoming part of the local landscape. They challenge the traditional narrative of a lost colony, replacing it with a tale of adaptation and resilience. The discoveries at Site X provide further evidence that the lost colony may not have been lost at all, but rather became part of the local landscape. The recent archaeological discoveries at Cape Creek and Site X have not only unearthed artefacts, but also the possibility of a new narrative for the lost colony of Roanoke. These intriguing findings, including a gold signet ring and European metal objects, suggest that the settlers may have survived and assimilated into Native American communities. This new evidence challenges long-held theories and paints a more nuanced picture of the settlers' fate. No longer do we see them as victims of a hostile environment or Native American attacks. 
Instead, we're starting to see them as survivors who adapted to their new surroundings and established ties with the native tribes. These discoveries also underscore the importance of ongoing archaeological research. They remind us that history is a living, breathing entity, constantly evolving as we unearth new clues. The mystery of the lost colony is far from solved. Each new discovery brings fresh questions, prompting further exploration and study. While the lost colony of Roanoke remains an enigma, these new clues bring us one step closer to unravelling this centuries-old mystery.